I don't see color. I'm colorblind. For minorities who use a statement, on one hand, they hear the love and positivity coming from it. But on the other hand, they just want to pull their hair out. You want to grab that person, shake them and says, you know, that's amazing for you to say, but don't you see how society treats me based upon my color, exclusively based on my color, be it in the workplace, in society, just everywhere in general. And so one of the things that we're going to talk about in this episode is how do you handle that kind of statement coming from maybe a friend, a family member, or a colleague? And the first thing to do is to recognize the positivity from it uh, and, and, and say, you know, hey, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I see that you're someone who wants to treat people equally. You don't want to be treating people or judging them based upon, upon their color. The second thing you want to do is maybe give them insights into the minority experience. And you could say, um, but the reality is for many minorities, sadly, we're treated exclusively or primarily through the lens of color, to what we look like, something that we've just been born into. And the third thing is a bit of that pivot, that change, that nudge. We tell the person, you know, maybe the way forward is one where we don't have to be blind to people's colors, skin colors, their differences, but maybe we don't make that the primary or the exclusive way of dealing with them. So again, the, the, the goal here again is to accept the positivity someone's telling you, but not to come too strong, really kind of lightly kind of nudge them by showing them inner experience. The fact that minorities are treated sometimes exclusively to the means of colors, but there are actually better ways to grow about this. So if you found this episode useful, uh, my name is Khalil Golivala, host of BIPOC Manager Podcast. Please like, share, or comment. Thank you.